What's up, Cal gang? Today, we missed the bus, and we're gonna have to run up and catch up to it. And that's the kind of problem we're working with today. All right, so let me, let me briefly explain the question. Um, so basically, the bus is 12 meters ahead of you. It's driving a constant velocity of five uh, meters a second, which is like pretty slow, actually. I don't know if buses go that slow. And then you, as a person, you're accelerating at a constant rate of 0 0.96 meters a second squared which is also very unrealistic. Like who runs like that? Like imagine like starting really slow and being like, and then like accelerating at a constant pace. That's like such a stupid way to run. Okay, so basically this problem is flawed. I could catch up to the bus by just running fast at the beginning. Let's not talk about that. Let's solve the problem because I'm getting distracted already. Okay, let's draw out the picture. You guys are gonna love this. There's you. There's a bus, you're a giant in this issue. This is going five meters a second. You are 12 meters behind the bus, and you are accelerating at a constant rate of 0 0.96 meters second squared. All right. So first part of this problem wants to know, are you gonna, or when are you gonna catch up to the bus? You know eventually you're gonna catch up to the bus, just, you know, at what point is that gonna happen? So we're gonna need some equations for this. If it's asking for what point two things collide, because in this question it's basically asking when do you collide with the bus, you want to find two equations for your distance and see when they equal each other. So let's do that. So for the person, let's do this. This is you. Okay, x d is equal to two. All right, so your acceleration, one half, 0 0.96 t squared, your initial velocity, you have no velocity yet, you're starting from zero, and your initial position is also zero. So this is all you got here. The bus, it has no acceleration, right? It's going at a constant pace, but it does have a velocity of five and an initial position of 12. It's 12 meters ahead of you, right? Okay, oh wait, I forgot to write something. Got a little excited there. X and G is equal to. All right, now we're gonna set the X's equal to each other, right? Because if we have this X is equal to that X, uh, we're gonna find basically where the position intersects. So we're gonna have uh, this divided by two is like what, 0.48? 5T plus 12. Then we wanna subtract this from both sides so we can use the quadratic formula. So zero is equal to negative 0.48T squared plus 5t plus 12. Okay, now we can use our quadratic formula, the L cool and stuff, to find out what our two values of t are. Or not our two values. Actually, we're gonna get two values, but one of them's gonna be negative, I think. Which is gonna give you, uh... no, it won't be negative. Yeah, it will be negative, okay. It'll give you two negative values, but the negative number obviously is a negative number. You can't go like negative time to catch up with the bus. Uh, I guess, yeah, you know, if you could go back in time, you could do that, but uh, you can't in this problem, I'm pretty sure. So, t is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac, 0.4ac, all over 2a, negative 0.96, right? Okay, what value does this give you? Good thing, I don't have to plug it into my calculator. So it gives you g is equal to negative 2, or something, I don't know, I actually can't even read my handwriting here, or 12.428 seconds. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a hint, it's not the negative number, because time isn't really like negative in physics problems, unless you're in like whatever, I don't know, quantum physics, pretty cool I guess. <laughs> okay, so this is the time that you run into the bus. Now all we have to do is plug this number into either of these equations. It's going to give you the same value. Um, yeah, I don't want to do it either in a calculator, but if you just say x of uh, 12.428, plug this t into equal either of these, um, you're going to get, what are you going to get? Okay, oh, this is the wrong side. Okay, this is equal to 74.1 meters, right? Pretty cool. Okay, that's when you collide. So that's uh, part one of the problem, right? That's how far you have to run. How fast would you be running by then? Uh, find the final speed as you reach the bus. Okay, not too hard either. 
Let's show you how to do this. All right, so our acceleration is equal to um, 0 0.96 meters a second squared. If we're going this fast, for how many seconds are we going? 12.428 seconds. Uh, how fast would our velocity be? So let's do our velocity equation, right? We need our velocity for this. Velocity is equal to the acceleration, 0.96 t plus our initial velocity. Don't have an initial velocity yet, right? We don't know. Uh, actually, we do know. It's zero. We do not, we're not starting yet. We're starting from zero. All right, so simply all we have to do is plug in this time into our velocity equation, and we'll see how fast we're going at this point. So velocity at 12.428 is equal to uh, how fast is this? 11.98 meters a second. Okay, there you go. That's how fast we're going when we run up to the bus. And I think the final part asks, is it possible to run that fast? Like, would an average college student be able to run that fast? Okay, so let's think about this. I could run probably like 12 to 15 miles an hour is what I'm guessing, like top speed. But this is miles an hour, this isn't meters a second. I, like, if you're like me, you don't really know like what meters a second is. Like you can't ask, you can't be like, what's 12 meters a second? Like how fast is that? I don't know, it's like kind of fast probably. So let's convert this to miles an hour. Uh, we can do that. Okay, uh, I need space to write this stuff. Uh, okay, delete. Okay, so miles an hour. So that means you're going 11, or not, 11.98, meters per second. So let's let's set up a little chart. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to cancel out what we got. So we know that seconds, if we're trying to go from seconds to hours, there is 3,600 seconds per hour. So let's write that. So we have 3,600 seconds per one hour. And what you're going to notice is that one second is going to cancel out here. So then we have meters per hour. If we multiply this by this, we'd have how many meters an hour? We're not trying to find meters an hour trying to find miles per hour. So we have to cancel out the meters next. So how many meters is in a mile? Well, we have 1,609 meters for one mile. And then the meters cancel out, and what you're gonna end up with is mile an hour. So we just have to multiply uh, this by this and divide it by that. Okay, so 11.9 times 2006 divided by 1,000 609 is equal to 26.8 miles an hour. 26.8 miles an hour, huh? I'm pretty sure Usain Bolt can run that fast. I might be wrong about that. I'd have to do some math on that. Uh, yeah, but I can't run that fast, and I'm probably the average college student. So 26.8 miles an hour, not realistic. I don't think a college student can run that fast. Another reason why this problem is wrong Hey, but you know, it's all cool. Um, what was I gonna say? I don't know. I was, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a cool trick if you want to convert meter. If you want to, if you want to check your answer, just be like, "Am I close?" If you convert meters per second and you multiply it by two point, like a, two plus a little bit, it's gonna give you roughly miles an hour. So eleven point nine eight times two is like roughly twenty six point eight. It's a little wrong, but that's just how you can check your answer. Make sure that you're kind of on the right track. So yeah, there you go. That's how you solve these kind of problems. Um, don't miss your bus because you won't be able to catch up to it if you run like a stupid person. Why am I racing? Okay, bye guys. Stick around for some more calculus uh, physics videos.